recording? Yes. Like literally just like you just caught me saying are we recording? Yes. All right. Well, you can edit this part out, right? <clears throat> yeah. I don't you think he really edits. Bit, no. All right. <laughs> I edit. I'm actually a very good podcaster. That's one of my really? I put that on my LinkedIn. Bro, you know what's hilarious? Last time I listened to the last podcast and he's the only one with headphones and he's like the only one with the like you can barely fucking hear him. Yeah, wait. Why, you why do you get him. headphones and we don't get headphones? I mean, it makes sense to me. Like, if if this, but place, he, I mean, I'm tired of doing these these third rate podcasts. It's dude, crazy. In some lady's basement, who makes us amazing Chinese food. You spend man. fucking two hours cooking food for us, and then like you can't even just have this shit set up. We're not impressed. We have, go ahead and start the podcast. We now. have places to. Well, I don't really have anywhere we have, to be, we have but to go. we're happy to be here. Yeah. Hello. When you guys come into my house and. My mom asks you if you guys still live with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> she did. That was cute. Bill's mom asked if we still live with our moms. Just to put a temp check out there to see how many kids are living with their moms. Yeah. Turns out it's just you. It turns out we're twelve years older than Bill. <laughs> and uh, Dude, you guys are doing great. Yeah. <laughs> but there we have friends that live with their moms our age. Do we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to think that hard. I feel like I'm pretty good. Um, I work. I was working at my server job, and one of the servers that I love and respect. I'm gonna. She's a I'm woman. Fire off a couple texts. Keep, you can keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one of the. Can you servers, cut to the cool part of the story? <laughs> Jesus Christ. One of the servers that I love respect because she's a woman. Yeah, you're in love with one of your coworkers. Yeah. She has a boyfriend. Oh, okay. so you you are in love with her? You are. No, in no, love I'm her? kidding. Uh, she was like, uh, oh. God damn it, the humidifier. This podcast. Let's start sucks. over. I haven't liked anything we've done so far. We should Yeah, we, we should can we over. can start over. Yeah. Press press oh, backspace on all of that. I'm glad. It wasn't off to a good start. No. We needed a My different. my text joke was kind of funny, but Yeah. It's yeah. all it's all good. God damn it. I've been bombing, dude. I've got, nothing. I've got too much Chinese food in me. God damn. No, right, you're let, happy. Me know, let me know when when you're rolling. We're happy, healthy, we're joking Chinese people. That's what we are, really. Oh wait, sorry. We're, are we keeping all that? Sure. I mean, we can. Do you want we'll to start, start again? We'll start right here. And now, that's that's more starting. So we're here. Build. Are you getting me? Are you getting me good? Do I need to be right there? This is just covering my face now. Right there. Do you like that? Is that good for you? Do you like that? I think it's sensual. Check check two two. That's nice. I'll figure some way to edit this shit. Anyway. It's a small boys podcast. We yeah. got started here. We got uh, Mitchell Harmon and Joe Nunnick. Mm-hmm. Since we're promoing, and it's going to start off here. Hey, he's doing a show at Comedy Club Kansas City this <laughs> Friday? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. This July Saturday. Second. July 2nd. Big man on campus. Club. Be mock, dude. That's going to be you next year in college, big guy. I'm not going to college. I don't understand this, so let's back up. You don't have to take the ACT. You do not take standardized testing, and they're not, they don't. you don't have to go to college because you're like – what they say? They're like this kid's. He got said it. they did a psychological evaluation, and they Which, were like, what "This guy mean? rules." What does that mean? So, you like a Goodwill Hunting type savant? Like, what's, <laughs> what's your problem? Dude? They like. Apparently, people think I'm like crazy. <laughs> He's wicked smart. <laughs> <laughs> He's wicked smart. Um, and then my parents did like a psychological evaluation to see if it was like me or them was the issue. Turns out it's them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, what issue? Your, your parents? What's the issue? That you, or yeah. the school? That you're just like a Gen Z kid and they don't understand, so they like Something took like you that. to... My dad... <laughs> like, we don't understand what's going on with this kid. I, I would talk to my dad and he would be like, why are you so weird? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> your dad sounds like a cool guy. Yeah. Like, he was asking me about video games and I was like, I love video games. He's like, why are you so weird? Dude, like, it took everything your dad... To not just be like, you're gay. <laughs> Much, yeah, we didn't move to America to have a gay American son. That's what you're Whenever, like, I'm like, Dad, I feel like you never say good things about me. And he's like, you're a very good-looking young man. <laughs> <laughs> he called you good-looking? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so you they took you in for a psychological evaluation, yeah. which it consisted of what? Um, They asked me a lot of questions. I wrote a lot of questions down. I feel like... But what was one question? Wait, you wrote questions down? I think you're supposed to answer them. This guy's cuckoo. <laughs> His dad's like, see, this is what I'm talking about. I think, <laughs> yeah, well, I think now he's asking heard. questions. I think they had a guy administer the van- exam, and then they had an IQ test, and they had like an ADHD test. So you just had ADHD? No. Everyone has ADHD. 
I, I don't know. They, they said there's nothing wrong with me, so I'm in the clear, guy. So okay. I just have okay. an IQ of 136. Wait, do you actually? Yes. Okay, well, so is you're that like a whiz high? Player. I don't know what high, high is. Forrest Gump was around like upper 60s, low 70s, and that's considered low. Yeah. Uh, okay, my barometer is Anchorman. Steve Carell's well, character, is. I think it was 48. <laughs> Yeah, and and what some people would call retarded. Well, that movie, you know, didn't take itself seriously like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest Gump is a serious film about a man with a less. It's than my favorite IQ. documentary. Yeah. So you, <laughs> God damn it! What? So you're right, so okay. So what? So that you don't have to go to college because, I mean, you shouldn't necessarily go to college. It's a racket, but I, I don't have to do anything. I mean, I could just. That's die. true. That's my, true. My mom said she's proud of me yesterday, and I think okay. So that's I'm where good. you're at. You're that's like fucking tight. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm like, I could die. I'm happy. That's not bad. It's not. It's not easy to get a. I'm proud of you from an Asian mom. Right. Yeah. I, so, what do you do with like your cool IQ? Do you like do you like crossword puzzles or like what? Um, I write <laughs> killer jokes. Really? I haven't seen it. Dude, last night just, that was so weird. When he got off, I was like, that was Tim Heidecker and Yellowface. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It destroyed. Nice. To, like, playfully racist. Oh. Yeah, it was fun. Joke. <laughs> so what do you what do you do like to get out the genius do you like are you like do you do math problems like recreationally or, like, um to... i mean i write a lot of jokes I, i'd like produce shit like this i mean i just moved this couch in i found are you telling me you have to, <laughs> are you telling me you have to be a genius to do this <laughs> no, this is gen- the work of a genius yes, right here to do it every week to have these to have... 26 dollar uh, mic stands and and yeah the, I mean, it looks cool i gotta say it's a cool space that's a nice i mean market. like to uh, be, do the ability to have the ability <laughs> to do a podcast for more than two weeks in a row, I think that's that takes like hundred. That takes a high IQ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a, you have a grand picture view of the world. You don't yeah. see just tomorrow. I'm I'm not slept. You know what I'm saying? You don't sleep. I'm I'm woke as fuck. Oh, word. like I see yeah. the world. Sorry, bet more than most people would. Can I do something real quick? Remember on the last episode that I was on, if you saw it, um, <laughs> the fucking. Wow. She said the wolf boy thing. He came out born with hair all over his body, and then uh, Bill sent me this as proof. <clears throat> well, let me see that. Hi, Pichu. When William was born, he has so much hair, and he, not only not only on his head, but also on his face, <laughs> on his back, his neck, and on even on the show. <laughs> Dude, have you master have you masturbated to that yet? Isn't that sexy? I would jerk off to that. Even on a show. You, your mom asked if she could have sex with me when I went upstairs. Dude, I don't <laughs> remember that <laughs> happening. I don't think that would happen. No, it was just I went up to the bathroom and she walked in on accident. Yeah. And she saw me taking a piss. I'm not I'm not gonna do the voice, but she said so big. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, would you like suck? But I'm not going to do the voice. <laughs> I'm not going to do the voice. But, um, dude, yeah, dude. Crazy. How many How many times, like, is it, like, is, is that usually how these podcasts end? The guests just blow your mom's back out? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I should she let makes comedians. Us food. <laughs> this is my mistake. I Wait, I'm just saying I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit horny. We got we walked <laughs> yeah. in, dude. His mom's feeding us amazing Did you food. close She's the like, door upstairs? She, I don't know. She's, can she hear us? Could you hear this? She's like teaching us how to use the chopsticks with like her arm wrapped around my arm. Yeah, like, like a sexy know, golf holding coach. Holding the thing. And she's like, um, she's like, Bill's not a real man. Yeah. But I like it when he has men over to do the podcast. <laughs> You're a small boy. <laughs> <We're> all- <laughs> Cheers to that. <clears throat> We're all small boys here. Um. So yeah, so it's been it's been good. It's been nice being here. It's so, delicious food. Yeah, yeah, that is really cool. It's, it's a nice play. touch. But yeah. you, you I am now. So I'm sleepy now. Yeah, yeah. back to so Mi- back to Mitch's that. thing. So oh, he was born with hair. I kind of cut you off there. But, uh, well, I think that was it. I mean, like we heard it from the mother. Yeah. So you wow. were born. This is part of your whole thing. So you were born yeah. with hair all over your body, your shoulders, your neck, yeah. your back, and even on the shoulder, child. and and even on the shoulder. Your favorite part. <laughs> And you have this like kind of whiz kid IQ. Of, yeah. like, I can't believe that you're sitting over because he's like the dumbest guy I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> well, I mean, look crazy. around, dude. He's, I mean, he pulled this thing off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How you, many other Kansas City comedians made their own? Are you studio? smart enough to pick up the tone in his voice right now? 
<laughs> yeah, I can clearly see that he's just a very intelligent, like just a good talker. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a yeah. like minded guy. Yeah, I can respect that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm not I'm not going to college next year. You either. can see that I'm gonna conquer the Kansas City comedy scene eventually. So, bro, that he's, would he's on his way. Be fucking awesome. It's I, it's doable. I'm rooting for you. Yeah, it's so doable. Yeah, then it's like um, I feel like I could be a good ambassador. You know. Feel like uh, people could respect, like, wow, they like they put him up here and he's fucking so cool. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? <laughs> like, sounded people, like you were saying, like, yeah. wow, they even let him up there. Yeah, but but then it yeah. went, it, but then it turned into Andy is so cool. <laughs> That's just like a logical A plus B equals like. Yeah, I'm a man of the people. You know what I mean? I I have I started I started to have friends. I have a group chat now. It's like seven people. This is, I see why they took you in for the psychological evaluation. <laughs> this is not how normal people talk about we it. Have the, <laughs> we, we named the group chat the Bad Comedians. That's where we're at right now. It's all new people. Is it comics? Yeah. Oh, the new Vanguard's here. They got a group mm-hmm. chat. We had a group chat. Ours fizzled out. <laughs> Dude, Ours yeah. fizzled out and imploded Because we were too nice times. to people. We let too many people in. That we let too that many people fucking in. Fucking chill. And then, and then we were... And then they'd freak out at awesome jokes. They'd freak <laughs> out at awesome jokes, and all the women left one by one at our shitty group chat. And then, yeah. The last one was... <laughs> and then, wait, do you remember when it got deleted? <laughs> yeah we won't go into the details no. yeah I, I like that was i don't know why. what i've been doing Dude, to the group wait chat. no i wanted to talk about like <laughs> one of the women leaving it okay. was like i think like <clears throat> biden had the primary or something oh yeah and like so we we're talking <laughs> oh, about yeah. it and we're like <laughs> One dude, Alec, was just like, he's like, oh, yeah. I-, I guess we have to vote for Biden. Like, that sucks. And then a chick was like, started freaking out on him. Like, yeah, she was like, yeah. he's just like, I don't know. We don't have a choice. I don't Wait, want to vote for Trump. What did she say? And then she was like, uh, you know, Biden's a piece of shit. Like, you're a piece of shit if you fucking vote for him or whatever. This was in the primary, though. I think Bernie was still in it, but he was obviously not going to win. It so. was like going to be Biden. He gonna knew be it Biden. was going to be Biden. And like, he was and just he, being I think he was logical. like, I'm just going to vote for Biden because he's going to, uh, or whatever. I just don't want Trump is what he was saying. And then. Like, she, like, freaked out and left, and then we just started sending him pictures of nooses, <laughs> <laughs> like, people that were tarred and feather, yeah, and, like, yeah. a picture of a mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a picture of a, of a... Take a long look, bud. Yeah. You And you then, sick, like, a few months sick. later, that same chick was posting on Facebook, like, guys, I know it sucks, but we have to vote for Biden. <laughs> Dude, the exact same... It was so funny. Like, yeah. by the time the general election, it was like, we all have to <laughs> band together. Yeah. It's but great. It does suck. He does suck as a president. It's I'm excited to see how your group chat ends. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's It'll crazy probably be how like Inferno. it's crazy how like most Did, for most people sorry. politics is just like one major cope. They're just like I'm so hard. I don't know. Wait, one major what? <laughs> one major cope. It's just like oh yeah, that, that is interesting. Processing with the status of reality yeah because really it's all sort of like abstract like the way you run into it in your real life is like you see gas prices and like prices or you know obviously like recently your people's rights are being like stripped away but the sort of day-to-day stuff is just like abstract stickers yeah yeah like it's not really bro the abortion thing actually out of solidarity the other day i pulled out and came in my own mouth nice so dude. yeah but now i'm worried that we can't get abortions and i don't know if it works I, the same as watermelon seeds dude so we had one of the worst burgers <laughs> of all time and <laughs> I, 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 I missed that uh it's dude, okay i'll listen back to it no it's all right well i'm sorry what no, was, I, I, we, I was on the road this weekend, and Stephen and I were having the worst uh, burger of all time in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. It was very overhyped. Very overhyped. Pittsburgh. But anyway, I was having diarrhea from that, right, as <laughs> women lost their abortion rights, <laughs> and it felt deserved. Like, I'm not on the Supreme Court, but I probably could have done more. You know what I mean? Like, just I, I like to think that all guys were having a little bit of diarrhea, you know, as just some hmm. sort of pittance. Bro, I, I woke up next to a girl, like, at, like, 2 in the afternoon or whatever, and, like, she had already been, like, sitting on her phone, and we chit-chat a little bit, go downstairs, smoke a cigarette, and then I'm on my phone, and then I see, like, this thing, and then I come back up, and, like, I just, I was like, do you know about this? And she's like, yeah, I saw, like, what a good lady to not just, like, talk my fucking ear off about <laughs> oh, it the second yeah. I wake up. It's a nice lady. That was a really nice lady. I'm yeah. glad you have such low standards for women. No, that's, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a fun story? I feel like Mitchell, every time Dude, he, podcasts what fucking you, suck. 
<laughs> this shit God, that's a, that's a question. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, question. We really drove everything into the ground right yeah, there. I th- yeah, I think it's, I, at least we get to fuck his mom. Dude, your mom's so hot. <laughs> I should not break the news. I've been rock hard. This was That was better mother. content. Let's go back to that. I've been rock hard since I walked in. Yeah, so, I actually do feel bad because so, she might hear this right now. I, yeah. I thought it was kind of crazy when my mom asked you, like, what do you do? And then he's just know, like, dude. nothing. It's weird that she bit her lip right after she asked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like you do a lot of things. I mean, you do the comics. There's one more thing I'd love to do. Okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> you sorry, do the comics. Sorry. She's a wonderful lady. does not deserve this at all. Yeah, no, she's so nice. Yeah. You, you've done comics. You I do mean, like, like really nice, dude. Fucking <laughs> stacked. Dude, <laughs> dude uh, comics. You do like a short film. Um, I mean, something drawn. about. Like, I've never lady, seen someone dude. fill out a nightgown like that. Oh my god, dude! Something about like, uh, yeah, no, but um, something about a mom too. You know what I mean? Like I've gone to the age where I'm just like now that is like what I'm. That's, it used to be like a 22 year old at a bar. Yeah, and now I'm like Bill's mom is like fucking my type, dude. My type. <laughs> dude. Whoa! Look at that. Oh yeah, I forgot you're a Lego guy. Yep. Yeah. I thought you were just doing that to like cope for a second. You're like I'll <laughs> yeah, play yeah, with my Lego, my, my therapy Legos. Yeah, that's this, pretty. That's pretty this, nice. This box is. Free. I see. I see you didn't splurge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got the six ninety nine varietal. Uh, Chris, the clearance Christmas pack. <laughs> the thing that's been it's sitting on the, the middle of summer. The clearance, yeah, it is. It is July. It is soon to be July. Can I see? It? Can I see what it is? Four and up, dude. Nice. <laughs> My type. This this is for me. The Demon Slayer. <laughs> that's tight. You, you want to show the audience? Yeah. And this is. Uh, I don't know. If, can we zoom in right here? Let's no. This is you not don't edit. High quality <laughs> Honestly, oh, dude, you, edit. your they're... IQ is 136, and you don't edit. <laughs> But I, I'm only a man. I'm not just an Asian producer. Dude, I'm dude, all of it. You're a small I'm everything. boy. Everything. I'm small just boy. a small boy. That um, <clears throat> is alone. Yeah, man. Thank you. Uh, next, is this for me? Or yeah. What do I? This yeah, is a gift. This, is, this is awesome. Yeah. Well, let's transition. Yeah, we got the Kansas City Lego Master who draws all the comedy uh, show posters here. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Drew. My Empire of Dirt. <laughs> that one, the bittersweet boy with Kyle. Oh uh, yeah, that was a good one. I'm I'm proud of that one. How does show go? Did anyone go to it? Did he? Uh, did I, he don't know. I think I heard it went well. Yeah, good for him. Good for good for old Kyle. Yep, it's a party. Yeah, dude. Um, Who did your guys' poster? I like that. Yeah, I made it myself. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. That, that, Super. I, Super high IQ. Yeah. yeah, that guy used to be a. Co-host. I can't believe he's a genius. Allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I can't who believe who fucking saw that he's an, comment. He's a genius that lives <laughs> below this unbelievable smoke show. <laughs> <laughs> this queen, this queen of just just an angel. I mean, um, he is smart to keep her near him. That's that's a high IQ move. Yeah, yeah. Women got to keep an eye on yeah, on that. Yeah, you gotta, that firecracker. You gotta women actually are competitive. Is your dad around? Like, is <laughs> that is that a bit? I don't like. I don't mean that in a dick way. I just I literally don't know. Well, like, I don't know. Like, are your parents married? Are they together? Are, they... are you asking if she's single? Well, in a roundabout way, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I do. I am curious. My dad's not around, but she is. Fuck yeah. <laughs> But is he? She's um currently married to the Lord, so he, he lives like nearby, though, right? Allegedly, did they divorce? How old are you? I'm, we're going from Legos, right? <laughs> your parents divorced. Yeah, welcome to WTF. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who are your guys? Who are your guys? So, what makes you cry, you stupid? Yeah. Joe knows it's the interview, so he decides to ask every question he can. I can't about me. talk about myself. I'm not good at the Lego land. I mean, I'm happy to answer any questions, but I can't be like, "It was the best." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, but um, so, so, so let's back up. <laughs> so, oh my god! Oh my I'm god! Just gonna put you out of your misery. <laughs> no, dude. Mitchell pulled out a real gun on me, and I'm yeah. slightly terrified. Yeah. Is that, I do stuff like this. What now. is that? It's is just that for a, fun. Oh, okay, nice. Is that a is that a toy gun? Bang bang. You never know anymore. So. It's bang, very bang. easy to get. There. I know. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah, this is gonna be a cool Joker thing of like you killing me on Bill's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you fucking. Did. What does he say? I think that was it. Okay. 
Yeah. I like. I actually knew what he said, and I was so embarrassed that I was saying it that I stopped. You pretended like you didn't know the next line. Yeah, no, you knew exactly. <laughs> I what lied. It was. I knew I exactly actually, what it was. I just <clears throat> felt so fucking lame. I feel like that looks like a real gun. I dude. know that looks like a very real gun. Does it not like the trigger doesn't pull or anything? I mean, it does, it's it does, like a broken but... BB gun. He says, uh, but it's you painted over the red tip. That's fucking badass, so dude. Sorry, are we not supposed to cuss on this? I just want people <laughs> to go, like, does this go out to like youth groups. Well, who's this for? <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, I feel like um, I just want people to know that like. I wonder if this gets taken off of YouTube. Hey, what the what, what the man talk? I'm sorry. I feel like I'd feel better if I knew that like people could know or would know that I could just murder them. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Well, that's kind of a scary thought. You just, but people aren't they are also always looking at 19 year olds and being like, yeah, "Gee, was hope he doesn't shoot up the place." Yeah, I mean, like, um, people think I'm like a nice person. Oh, you're just saying, just like generally. You, are you, you saying like the the people don't know the darkness that is Bill? Like, yeah, people, that you hold below <laughs> the surface that you could snap at any moment, dude. They don't know you're a tortured genius, dude. Yeah, people don't. People know that I could like just turn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can you? Well, good thing you're saying it yeah. for all the people out there. Yeah. Well, I, I Watch just out, love I guess. people so much. Also, his entire act is about, like, killing women. <laughs> really? <laughs> all of his jokes Does last it night. land? Do women laugh at it? No, crazy. it's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's, it's just... Well, right. Man, if you could find a way to get women to laugh at that, you'd be doing something special. But I don't know. Um, I don't think you can do that. I think it just kind of turns them on in a weird way. We actually... This came yeah. up on the last episode. Have you heard that? Like, where ladies are sometimes, like... What? I don't know. I'm like trying to figure this shit out. Like, yeah. girls are like <clears throat> turned on by like serial killers sometimes. And, like, right. The fuck is that? What? I don't I, know. I could be the next Ted Bundy for all you guys know. All right. What's the next question? Yeah, let's move on. Oh, I have plenty of questions. What was it like going to London and Paris with your students? What? Did you go to London and Paris? Was that nobody? Not you? Okay. Wait, what did you? What, did you what, go to London and Paris? London and Paris? Is that with you? my with my students? Does that happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, literally, what, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you I don't have students. Did you like Google him and just found some other Joe Nunnick that's a no. teacher? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> went All to right. London and Paris with his. Students? Where'd you get that? Where is your research coming from? <laughs> God, did, so, did someone just like? Did you ask somebody and they like, just gave you fake shit? <laughs> No, go let him explain himself. I, I I think you're doing a bit on the podcast, and I misunderstood <laughs> on one of your podcasts you did. Oh, oh, did you have students? Weren't you like a at least like a get student teacher or something? A case? Yeah, yeah, I I was. Yeah, we didn't go to London. Now that would have been crazy. <laughs> it was like a one week summer camp. <laughs> 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 All right, kids, get in. We're going to London. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but this is gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> No, dude, we did go on a field trip to the Nelson Atkins, and a kid ran into the glass maze head first, and, <laughs> and it started bleeding everywhere. <laughs> we had to, I had to turn everyone how, around. How old were they? They were like between, they were like between like six and ten. Oh shit! Yeah, because like yeah, they're like glass little, maze. Like you could really fuck yourself dude, up in there. And the thing is, I told all the kids, I'm like, all right, so this glass maze, because I bumped into it myself before. Yeah. I was like, be very careful and have your hands in front of you at all times when you're going to. And this kid just darts at it. And I was like, Jimmy! No! <laughs> I was like, Jimmy, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> and he just slammed like a bird right into it and just bashed his nose in half. Bro, I love those videos where people are walking too quick into stores and they just like shatter like a fucking 50 foot like glass like wall. Yes, dude. And the reason that I wanted the field trip was just to wipe out a day. It was like five days. And instead of like teaching them or doing anything, I was like, what if we just went to the Nelson and I had to get all this approval for the field trip and they're like we don't really think you should do a field trip and I just like was like come on but it'll be cool and then like we went for like it's fun and education and I came back like holding the kid in my arms <laughs> I was like bleeding everywhere <laughs> and you tried so hard to convince them yeah that's funny yeah then he died yeah well, god damn it bye Jimmy no he didn't goodbye he's Jimmy fine. he's fine <sighs> so you made a comic book <laughs> Yeah, I made two comic books actually. Yeah, I couldn't find Star Fuck. They're hard to find, but they're they're out there somewhere. Is from my understanding, I saw the short film though. You made a short oh, film about Star yeah, Fuck, nice, dude. Yeah, and it's about a drunkard space yeah. captain who mm -hmm. loves cocaine. Yeah, and um, I guess we used to used to sex with women and has like a weird nerd as his. Well, he like did so. Yeah, he like was like a epic partier space captain in the eighties. But then that takes place where he's like a burnout now, and he's with like young people, like younger kids, 
that are like on a ship that have no interest in that stuff. And so he's sort of just like a burnout. I thought it was going to be like a cool like cyberpunk adventure about like <laughs> he's uh, like I thought it was going to be a cool film but <laughs> like, like, like it about, turns out like, that it just kind of sucked <laughs> about like like a space lady by the cover cuz there's a space lady on the cover I, I couldn't Oh one it. of the comic books? Yeah. But it was yeah. just it was the opposite of that I got to see like a weird fat <laughs> drunkard naked on animation. Oh yeah. Well that's part of it, dude. I'll see if I can find the comic books. I'll give you a copy. There's not a whole lot left but they used to be they used to be uh, underground favorites at Clint Clint's comic books on Main Street. Oh. Legendary Clint's comic books. Any, they would buy them from us and they sold them there. And there was a couple people who came in asking for Star Fox. So any, was, we had three that's, three. that's fucking tight. Yeah, it was cool, man. Any affiliation with Clint's comedy shop? No, but very <laughs> close name. Both <laughs> legends in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but quick story, Clint's <clears throat> comedy shop, crazy thing happened there. Do you know about this though? How the owner died? Oh, no. So, Jim, what? you don't know the story? Clint? No, not Clint from Clint's Comedy Show. Oh, I'm oh, talking about comic the comic book. book. So, right, sorry, I said the wrong thing. Yeah. The comic book store. What are you doing, dude? You're just fidgeting. Bill, you're fidgeting. Oh, it's all right. We'll let him fidget. <laughs> so, so, Jim was the old crotchety owner who was like a super dick to everybody. But he liked giving artists a chance, so he bought our comic books and would sell them and stuff. And no one, no other comic book store would like buy them from us and like sell them and stuff. So we would just mostly sell them there. But then one day, a couple years into that relationship, apparently some kid came into the store and like robbed, like he didn't rob, he just stole like five random comic books, like whatever Batman, whatever comic books, and like tried to go out the back. And Jim's like these, like the 75 year old, like super mean guy. He grabbed a gun a pistol from below the thing and ran after the kid out the back door and was like, nobody steals my comic books and ran after this kid who was like your age. And he freaked out and the kid got in his car. and was like, Oh fuck, this old man's going to shoot me. And like Jim like opened up his like door with like a gun in this kid's face. And the kid, like I, I could be like, this is not beat for beat. Like, I'm not sure, yeah. but this is the story as that I remember, as, remember as much as I remember. Like, I guess he, like the kid like backed up or something and his like open car door, like hit Jim and, and Jim like fell down, head. like fell down and like had a heart attack or whatever and like died. Oh but it just God. sucks. This is a fucked up story because like the kid was just trying to take like twenty dollars worth of comic books. Yeah. Like a little you, you don't think someone's gonna fucking die at the end of that. Yeah. But he I mean he fucked with the wrong guy and Jim was like a maniac and went out in a real superhero fashion Ooh. or anti-hero fashion. Maybe. That's kind of a nice He's, little twist there. Yeah, right? He, I'm it's like an Uncle, Uncle Ben type thing. I'm kind of happy it happened now. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ever and watch? his wife, Sharon's a sweetheart. Super hot, dude. And I've, been, <laughs> you ever watch Gla- I've been talking to her a lot. You ever watch Unbreakable, that M. Night Shyamalan film? No, but I'll tell you which one I did watch recently, The Visit. That's a good one. I heard it's bad. But uh, in Unbreakable, the <laughs> I don't like this guy. Dude. Hero was He's like a genius, a, dude. You just wouldn't genius. understand. Yeah, I wouldn't understand. <laughs> so, uh, Unbreakable, there's like a train accident. This guy's like doesn't die because he's unbreakable. <laughs> I guess his name is also Unbreakable. But the villain, <laughs> his name's Unbreakable. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if that part's true. His yeah. villain, the villain, is called Glass, and he's like the owner of like a comic book store. And he's like evil, and he's like Samuel L. Jackson. There you go, fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, check I, some I text. Saw the movie. I'm gonna check some text. Yeah, let's fire off some text. What, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. So, you, uh, uh, Super Toast Man. Oh, I got a pretty cool text. Oh, so Super Toast Man. So allegedly, yeah. it's Pulp Fiction meets Powerpuff Girls. Is that an accurate description? Oh, is that what I said? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I think I think yeah, Powerpuff Girls out. isn't far off. Pulp Fiction may not be accurate. Is this, I like that, but I don't think that's accurate, really. Yeah, this was <laughs> chronological. Mitch, <laughs> I don't know if I could say it. <laughs> These guys are plotting to ruin the podcast. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. No, text me back. Job. I wanted to do a whole bit where we just text for like forty-five minutes and just keep talking. <laughs> no, about I'm it. gonna text the thing. It's kind of thirty funny. listeners are gonna tune on. All right, yeah. Let's now, whatever. So I already what, said what the joke is. So. Yeah. So, what aspect? Like, do you feel like TV or movies were a big part of this? Super Toast Man at all? TVs or movie? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, what? 
<laughs> like, what does that mean? Were you inspired by media before you made <laughs> yeah. media yourself? Yeah, well, you know what? It's actually this crazy story where for the first 25 years of my life, I had actually watched a lot of TV and movies. And, and when I came up with the idea, sort of, I think a lot of the principal things that informed me were many of those TVs and, and, and movies. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever, I think it's like... I'm being such a dick. He's a and fucking he's, genius, dude. I have a little respect I know, dude. Here. I'm fucking shitting on a genius <laughs> whose mom is smoking. <laughs> God, your mom's hot, I, dude. I have good genes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, to me, what I understood from Super Toastman is the... Can I see that? Yes, you can. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like Superman, it. <laughs> but with like a Batman. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, it's <laughs> Superman plus Toast. You got it. You know Welcome like, back to the Mitch no, no, and no, Joe no. show. Yeah, dude, I'm getting all the questions. Yeah, no, I give one for Mitch. <laughs> I don't. How wanna, many diet cokes did you drink yesterday? <laughs> I think maybe sucks, two. dude. I was hoping these would all be Mitch questions and I could just sort of watch. No, dude, you're the star on this one. You're, we're promoting your show. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so glad that you're here for it. So here. Yeah. I don't understand. There's an observatory in Breakfastopia, but it's it's like a rolling pin. Uh, do they see through the rolling pin? Are no, like- you know what the rolling pin is? Is going to be is called Pin Station, so that's like a train station or something. Oh, that's I never got that far. I was going to make a second one and more, but it took a lot of work, so I never made another one. <laughs> But I had a second one all written out. So I saw a building that had chip dip on top of it, and then there were chips in it. Do the chips live in the chip dip? Is it like a swimming pool on top of the house? Yes. Yeah. All right. This guy's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> These are questions no one's ever asked about Super Toast, man. People are like, dude, cool book, man. Far out. I also think most people can just look at it and be like, oh, that is what that is. <laughs> and don't need to ask about it. I want to think about Breakfastopia. Do they I, do they eat anything? Do the foods eat? You anything? know what? I don't know. I thought about that too. I know they drink stuff, like they drink coffee and tea, but I don't know if they eat anything. I think they eat their own. If they eat human shit, is what they eat. <laughs> well, it's like <laughs> I was eating. thinking like bugs, maybe. I don't know bugs. what they would eat. Yeah, I don't know what they would eat either. The radio says like breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and that meal is you. So probably something weird. I don't know. It was uh, you could yeah. do like a horror. Sequel. I think that line was supposed to be more. Oh, could be. I mean, I thought about it. Maybe there's like I thought of an idea where like a giant rat monster that's like huge comes to town, starts eating shit or Maybe something. Yeah, I don't know. That comes to mind. Was Toaster born to be evil? I mean, what else is he supposed to do? Fuck, dude, this is my nightmare. When I was <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Um, you know, I've I've gotten this question a lot from a lot of the cons I've done about this, and I just <laughs> I tell my fans the same thing every time, and it's just what is toaster it? is what you put in into toaster. Yeah, what does it mean to you? So he's like black mask. Exactly, he gets the crumbs, the burnt ash of everything he's toasted. I know. Oh. I have no idea. I I I think he was. He's yeah. He, did you ask if he's evil? Yeah, he's evil. Was he born to be evil? I mean, what is a toaster supposed to do except toast? Is he exactly. made to kill? Yes, exactly. That's why he's evil because he's all he knows how to do is scorch people to death. And where did they? I don't know. I never <laughs> making this up. Is there like a a breakfast topia prison? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Let's throw it over here. Let's give yeah, yeah. poor Joe a break, bitch, dude. Hey, I don't know. know. There's a guys. fucking breakfast waffles, jail, dude. Waffles or pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I told you that these questions oh. are like that. <laughs> Wait, wasn't your mom supposed to make pancakes? I'm not even making this up. She said there was supposed to be pancakes no. with that. You said there was supposed to be pancakes. With oh, yeah. I think yeah. traditionally with that meal, yeah, there are. Um, but they didn't have any. Right, right. Yeah, but I just wanted to bring up your mom again, but <laughs> uh, I, waffles, dude. E- e- waffles every day. Shout out to my favorite place to go after a long <laughs> day of work and have a nice cold beer and a dulce de leche waffle. Just the Mockingbird Lounge. You heard it. The Mockingbird Lounge, where a man can be a man. You said 
I live above it. I jerk off above you while you eat your waffles. <laughs> Every day when <laughs> people are eating duce de leche waffles. I live above And there. having a cold Coors Light. Mitchell um, is coming. Cranking. Coming everywhere. I have penis right elbow. Ab- right above. So instead of it's tennis, in the vents. Instead of tennis elbow, yeah. I have penis elbow. Right. From practicing my foreskin. That's the clip. <laughs> <laughs> we got the clip. Let's get out of here. I'm doing my first year jokes. Yeah. You said you said it. No, I never said that on stage. I'm way better than that. I'm actually yeah. kind of, I, I'm sort of like trying to fill like an artist role around here. I like to think I'm like the Kanye West of comedy. Of Kansas City comedy? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, because I just freak out on people and uh, I harass Kim Kardashian on <laughs> Instagram every day. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows what you're talking about anymore, but you used to be like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I love Kanye West. Not really his music, though. Anyway, um, let's murdering women. Great comedy. Whoa! Subject. <laughs> not. Really? I don't. My jokes are not only about murdering women. So are they actually though? <laughs> Dude, like, a lot of them are. Like, uh, what do, what uh, do you say? Good amount is like you're lucky that you look so baby faced that none of them are probably actually yeah, threatened. Say by what? You? What, what is one of your murderous jokes? Because they're like cute little puns, but they're about <laughs> killing a woman. Well, that's kind of funny. Well, let's hear one. Let's hear one. Uh, oh, this is my best joke. This isn't murdering women, but it's about a woman. Fuck. I'm trying Say, to think. Do one of the ones. Um, I don't feel like I have that many jokes about murdering women. Okay. Well, it sounds like you exclusively have <laughs> jokes about murdering women. It's like something like that. It's similar to that. I don't know what the fuck. I'm trying to think. Well, this is one. Say Yeah. Say a joke that you did last night. Um, I think beautiful women are like classical paintings. I want to kill them. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're nice to look at, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I want to bring them home with me. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Um, and then nail them against my wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, and then sell them to the highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> If you know wow. what I mean. And then uh, buy another one. If you know what I mean. <laughs> that, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you. Coming from your baby face. Yeah. I'm, that's probably maybe the just best like joke don't, I've heard you. But it's also, yeah. it's also a norm joke. I mean, like, oh, really? it's not exactly yeah. a norm joke, but yeah, I think yeah, yeah. you're doing, like, an homage, aren't you? Yeah, it's like a st- it's style. Yeah. Realistic thing. Well, it's not a, he's just like influenced by Norm Macdonald. No, like what? Yeah, no. There's a specific joke. It's oh. like him talking about so dating he's shows. <laughs> not really, because I kind of, I kind of get it. Like doing an homage to like a joke you like. It's I don't know. It's it's like I would say that it's but like it's, it's my like joke. a dating show joke. He's like they're all uh, yeah, it's all sexual in your window. You know, it's like a if I uh, had a popsicle, how would you eat me? He's like, yeah, I fucking do this. I take you off know what the I rapper. Mean? Mm-hmm. And then he just does that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like Norm. It's it's more about, like, style or voice. Yeah, it is kind of like his voice, but it's my joke. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it is your joke. <clears throat> I think it's a good joke. I don't it is a good joke. A I don't... Joke. I think, like, I don't what think makes it sound more like the Norm thing is that you know what I mean. I don't think you need that in that joke. It's... Pretty right. good, it's oh, pretty do you just joke. repeat? You know what I mean every time or something? Yeah, or and that that's like from the norm joke, right? All right. Yeah, take okay. that part out and just do the joke. Okay. Yeah. 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 Then it's just like because then we won't be dist- even if it's not. It's just distracting, probably to like because it will remember norm, and then it's just why even have the question? Just eliminate the question. Okay, I'll yeah. try. I'll see how it goes. It's right. a good enough joke. Are you? Yeah. What are, are you doing? Any spots this week? What do you got? This month, you got new shows. Um, I'm doing. Oh my god! Did I even get booked, dude? Whose podcast did you tell, tell me to do? <laughs> I, do I didn't. I'm I didn't doing, tell you to do this. I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing like uh, doing hot. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. I'm doing and hot and Mitch is going to be shooting cum just directly <laughs> above, yeah. directly above the entire thing. Once again, um, I'm going to oh, catch up. I'm going to be hot waffle. I might. <clears throat> at the Mockingbird Lounge, I where a man the place <laughs> can be a man, where a man can be a man. I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing. A and show. after a long day of work, there's only one place <laughs> to get an ice cold Miller Lite and a du leche de leche waffle. But that's the Mockingbird Lounge, where a man can, can be, be a, a man. man.
and and girls Gay. are girls here. <laughs> <laughs> JK, it's very well. That's place. yeah. I mean, I don't agree with that part, but that's it's sort of it. like the owner Dan Castillo. His whole thing is like, <laughs> this is like a bar where men can be men and like uh, girls are girls here. Is like sort and of you his, wear uh, the right clothes. Yo, what? <laughs> the problem. I don't There's know. a weird no, dress code a... there. Yeah, you have to wear a polka dot dress if you're a woman there. Yeah, a sundress. Yeah, yeah a sundress. No, probably. for the record, the oh. bathrooms are not gendered. It's a nice place. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some people true. don't know when people we are like, kidding. Yeah, it's a, we're not kidding. It's a great place. It's a, <laughs> it's a fuck house. I'm shocked how it is, but for all the wrong reasons, I am shocked at how n- not out of business it is. When he opened the place up, we really thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's been like four or five years. Like I don't know if you know, I went to college with the owner of that place. We yeah. used to live together, and he was a real dead. We mate. we were doing open mics there before it was even legal. Before oh, it was yeah. even open, there was nothing well, in there. We yeah. would like just be standing around and like standing on a crate and then drinking beers out of a cooler. Not that there's anything wrong with that no, legally. <laughs> No, yeah, it was donation beers. I, I think it was legal, but yeah, we, like, yeah. it just wasn't like a functioning business yet. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I have pictures of... But him. I never thought it would be successful the way it has been. Right. He's yeah. doing a great business there. Yeah, it's fucking sick. You didn't believe in him, just like you don't no, believe in No, I didn't believe in him. In him. So, I, mean, <laughs> I believe in you, Bill. It's such a pain. Just because he doesn't believe in you doesn't mean that I don't believe in him. <laughs> he doesn't believe that I'm a fucking genius. I believe that you're a genius, dude. So, He's the one who doesn't believe you're a genius. Technically, I don't the classification know about that, is man. semi-genius. So, genius level is 140 IQ. I'm 136. So, I'm a few oh, points dude, below. Oh, just shy? I'm semi-genius level. Yeah, I, I feel like we get a lot of the semi and very little of the genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like a truck. I'm built different all right i'm a, like an 18 wheeler guys i fuck shit up no you know, keep going keep tagging it. you know it's such a burden you know who gives me a semi oh <laughs> a beautiful lady right upstairs <laughs> so you know you said i saw so a wise man once said and this wise man could be me it's it's such a burden to be self so self-aware <clears throat> you know what i'm saying huh well, I, I don't <laughs> is there a question <laughs> i don't know what to do with that you said that Okay. You also like it. Minions? This is a movie you really like? I love the Minions. <laughs> is that fucking for real? <laughs> I have no idea. Where are you getting this information? I did such good research, guys. Dude, he did good it's... research. He like listened to every podcast I've been on and like and watched didn't my didn't understand senior film. that you were joking half the time. Yeah, I was <laughs> making stuff up. But what was I? What like? What are you talking about? Like, did I say something about the Minions? You're like, yeah, man. I thought the Minions was gonna be bad, but you know, I it's watched great. it. And it's great. I think it's really clever and smart <laughs> and funny. When did I say this? <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Now I wanna, <laughs> this is like shit I never hoped anyone would ever hear. And they didn't. Honestly, you're the first listener on those podcasts. <laughs> yeah, but this this podcast is blowing up, guys. Shout out. <laughs> Subscribe. Dude, is it? honestly, yeah. You had one point. Where's that video at? I had 3K views. Dude, Did nice. people watch the whole, that's like the whole thing? Or like the, um, wow. That's Good for you, man. People watch like the. Do you like? Uh, do you think it's because they yeah. like people knew the Johnny Tran guy or what? What was his name? <laughs> Danny <laughs> Tran. Danny Tran. Yeah. Well, no, the last you co- had a cool guest on last time. The last couple of views had a uh, what is it called? The last couple had like three hundred. I think they just hit the algorithm. And Danny also has a podcast, so it kind of just was perfect. Nice. He like thing. shared it nice. to his Instagram or something. Hit and the, Connor hit the- and me do have good chemistry, even though we kind of like annoy each other heavily. Mm. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm sorry. We could cut out that lull right there, right? What? Just that place where all the the air was just dead in the room. I can cut out anything. <laughs> my man. Like, my dad out of my life, guys. How about this? Uh, we'll fire off a couple texts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take a quick text. Break. Um, guys, dude, um, dude, I got a really good text earlier. How how did your script editor sound super toast, man? <laughs> it was the creative input. I want to hear. Fuck you! I've deserved this. <laughs> I've deserved this for the way I've talked about your beautiful innocent mother this entire time. Yeah. <laughs> what well, <laughs> what was the question? What well, what was uh like? What was the creative process like working with multiple script editors <laughs> on Super <laughs> Toast? <Man? laughs> Uh, you know, when you write a script, if you ever, with you, if you ever put all 136 of those IQ points together and try to just put, put it into a hot scripty, you're going to want to fire it off to some people you trust at the time. 
<laughs> to give you, give you good feedback so, and not hurt you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so those three people are Kaylee Carr, <laughs> Trey Hook, and Trevor McGee. Trey Hawk and Trevor Trey, McGee. Yeah, oh yeah those, those three people you trust. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm just I'm just telling this girl yeah. that I'm on a podcast, so I can talk. Yeah, <laughs> so you can't talk. <laughs> yeah, do you, what do you, yeah, people. Um, <laughs> so, what are your what are your expectations <laughs> doing the Kickstarter project? And how did it change? How what was it like? Uh, expectations? Oh, man, I, I thought we were out of the Toastman Woods, but we're, <laughs> we're not at all. What are the woods in Toastman? <laughs> 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 Candy canes. <laughs> Um, cool. No, I got, got a lot more money than I thought it was going to get, which was really cool. Dude, it was really funny. Watch, you were like doing custom drawings for people. <laughs> then I, I, dude, I screwed myself over is what I did. So if you ever do a Kickstarter, like the way that's set up is like you give rewards for like the more money people donate. So it's like if you donate 20 bucks, you get a copy of the comic book or whatever. But if it's like $100, I like made all the, I was like, a mug, I come to your house, I blow your dad. Like it was like, <laughs> it, was like it was like so many things. And one of them was like, I had to draw that person as a cartoon, uh, like in the universe. Dude, and one of them was somebody we like a we month. Did, it, like, somebody it, it we sucked. don't like, and you were doing like really fancy <laughs> caricatures of them as food. <laughs> That's as specific some of as my, we can probably some get. Some of the but... people who believed in me more than anyone else are people that I, I didn't fucking care for it all <laughs> and uh eternally grateful for their support but. i mean dude it's really because well, no, a couple draw, it's what's really cool, though, cool that you can yeah. do evil things <laughs> with art i know dude it's fucking awesome <laughs> that's what i'm doing with i my drew comedy. my substitute teacher in fifth grade as the devil during class and then she came around and she saw me drawing it and recognized that it was her and she was like why don't you come drop that off when you're done with it and, and I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, oh, I'm fuck. That's and so, but, but I changed it real quick. I changed it from the devil into a farmer because she had like a pitchfork. Like ah. it was a devil. And I drew a hat over it and just like drew a mustache and changed it to like a farmer and turned it in. And it was the coolest I ever felt with being able to draw something because she so. was just like, fuck. <laughs> That's tight. So I, so I, I just want to say, I want to talk yeah. about my high school adventures. I, I also want to yeah. say I don't endorse any of the things I did in high school. But it's like uh, I would do like like racial humor at my ELA teacher. At your what? <laughs> at ELA English teacher. Oh, okay. What 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 was her? Well, I think I wrote an essay about Tupac, and then like I um the title. Yeah, dude, that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what you, you shouldn't even think about Tupac. Dude, don't think that's about Tupac. Disgusting. It hasn't been enough time. And then um, you like, disgust me, one piece of, his... of shit. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Talk about Tupac again. So yeah. Like, I don't know, Dude, I, we I, were just saying on the way over, you're not supposed to talk about rappers. You, like, or like, you know, <laughs> like if you're, you know, ask the wrong questions about, like, if you, you have a rapper on the pod, you're mixed up in the, politics, up in the politics. Yeah, I'm brazy, guys. Don't worry. You're getting mixed up in the Dude, wrong dude, politics. Dude, you're scaring me, bro. I'm a brazy right. biracial. Okay. So wait, what would you right, yell anyways. at your teachers? You would so, yell racially charged things? So no, it's just like I named, I did an essay on Tupac, then the name of the essay was one of like, was it acronyms? One of Tupac's acronyms. Names. It was uh, never ignorant. Getting goals accomplished. That was the title of the essay. Um, it sounds like an ignorant title. What was it called? Never. Is, did Tupac make that? Up Wait, that's or Tupac, you made or that you up? made that up? Tupac did. Never okay, ignorant. That makes okay, sense. goals accomplished. Now it's uh, awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now it's Fuck. okay. I thought you made that up. I was like, Jesus, bro. And that's his. That's the name of his album. Shukli for my never ignorant. Getting goals accomplished. <laughs> As, yeah. Oh god. So, I just sent, I didn't even I wasn't even aware of what it spelled out till right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that even? Why would someone put those words together? I was like, oh. <laughs> mm. She was like, mm -hmm. what is this? I was like, it's a song. <laughs> so, what yeah. did, so you took that Tupac song and did what with it? Uh, it's my essay title. And then um oh. <laughs> Yeah. And then <laughs> Okay. So, and then like I was I think we were doing something about like diversity like racial diversity or something like and then i was like i want to draw a rainbow and then my friend came over and he's like what does like rainbow have to do with like racial diversity I was like well you can see here uh the yellow is for asian 
and then the red is her Native American, and then she's like, you can't do rainbows anymore. They're banned. You're not allowed to draw them. They banned <laughs> rainbows? That's very funny. Te- that's a bad idea that teachers have, I think, is like if someone does a bit like that, they're like, they think that's the answer. They're like, no more rainbows! <laughs> yeah, like, that's gonna stop one. And then it's like, now I fucking love rainbows. They're like, fuck, now I just banned rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> rainbows. But they're just like having a beer after work at the Mockingbird Lounge. <laughs> and she's like, fuck, I banned rainbows. <laughs> I think I banned Rainbow. Dude, oh. teachers are fucking idiots. They're so bad. Oh, I hate them. I they suck, dude. I did, we should get rid of them. I did dude, that they're joke. so stupid. I know. I did a joke about like Wait. Asians being the best, having their own color, being yellow or some shit. And then like it did decent, whatever. I'm really I'm like I'm my character on stage is that I'm mentally disabled. But and uh, off stage. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool character. And when you're showering yeah. and brushing your teeth. Yeah, girls all the time. It. Girls love it. I'm like that guy. So <laughs> you're going to listen back to that like, clip in six years and be like, man, I can't believe I <laughs> just girls are like, I heard they have really big penises. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's retarded. I so you, you outlawed rainbows and girls above you. Oh, so what I did, I did a set about like Asians being like a favorite color. Then I was doing like weird, uncomfortable humor. Um, and then it did well. Like, it did well enough for me to be like, I'm fine with, showing this to people so i sent it to her school email <laughs> yeah, a few what? months ago yeah you said what? what did you say i, said one of my I spaced comedy. out did you space out yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dude, i didn't know what you were saying for that whole I time my- i was looking directly I, like drool could have been coming out of my I'm mouth i still said- think about rainbows <laughs> I- <laughs> me too it's crazy <laughs> that she banned rainbows I said- <laughs> <laughs> and then went to the Mockingbird Lounge. Mockingbird Lounge. Lounge. Uh, high school kids. Where girls are girls. <laughs> boys are boys. It's a gay bar. Um, it was. It actually was back in the day. Yeah, it was. It was the longest standing gay bar in Kansas City, Kansas. It's still standing in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, what was it? Fuck. Oh, I sent her my comedy sets. I sent my teacher. Oh, your comedy set. Yeah. yeah that's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, I'm so ready to ruin my life. Like, I saw my high school math teachers, and I was like, I don't go to college. I do comedy. Like, look at what you've done to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can't always blame everyone else besides and, yourself. And then I showed them the, my, my McLovin ID. They like that. Yeah. <laughs> well. Teachers wow. love when you do bits on them. They, they were fans. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Should we break out the hat? <laughs> yeah, you break out the hat. Let's Bill, break out the hat. Bill, we don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. All we're doing, trying to do yeah, is talk about some dulce de leche waffles and how hot your mom is, dude. And you're talking about <laughs> how you're – I don't know what you're talking about. So, dude. guys. We we have give it to the star. He brought it. Yeah, guys. Yeah, man, let me have my hat on. Whoever says the funniest thing, if someone gets guys. a pop, they get to wear the hat. So, guys. Let's go start here and we'll, okay. we'll, see, we'll see what happens. So, guys, eggs – Scrambled or fried? Okay. Uh, I wish you had the hat on so I could take it from you right now. Yeah. So um, I do have a show. It's actually this next Tuesday. I just remembered it's a show. What is Lawrence? It? It's like um, it's not gonna be good. It's at Empire Bar and Billiards venue. Have you been there in Lawrence? No. Uh, I'm doing 15 minutes and I'm going to murder like what? I usually do. No, you're I have doing much, 15. I you, have that dude, much you material. Don't, you don't That's cool. You don't have 15. I do have 15. I'll, I, I'll show it to me right now. I'll edit it down to six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. But my jokes are like condensed one-liners, and I'm like a fucking psycho that goes to mics. That's true. Maybe there's not a whole. Run. Well, you could take out all those. You know what I mean? Where would be the fun in that, Joe? I don't know, dude. Uh, I just, just want Mitch to say something funny so we can take this hat off my head. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I. All right, I'll just go through my notes. Let's see if I have. Yeah. Anything. Let's see what you got. What are you working on? Are you a big fan of sci-fi, sci-fi punk, <laughs> no. cyberpunks? No. Oh, is this funny? Next question. Uh, <laughs> did you know Charles Manson killed all those people because of Helen Keller? Helter Skelter. Oh, oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. See, Mitch can be just know. as unfunny as I am. No. That works. Yeah. That works on people. Yeah, but at that least know I, what the look, fuck I'm talking. But at about. least I know what he's talking about, dude. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Over but that's because, like, again, IQ. I think you have to be kind of. But older he's too to smart. Dude. I'm like, yeah, he's too smart. I, I'm I told, old, dude. I'm so fucking I, old. I told people in high school, and this is true, that I was black, and they believe me because yeah, and I, also, I did that too. I'll be honest. Um, 
I told people in high it's school. It's fun. Again, sometimes you can just cool. say whatever you want sometimes. See, you, you know what I love about you? You're a guy who is not white, and you're having a great time with that. <laughs> and, like, I'm jealous of that because you're taking it for a ride, dude. You're, like, <laughs> like you're just, like, uh, ca- causing chaos. You're at school. You're, like, <laughs> rainbows, uh, yellows for Asians. And they're, like, he's Chinese. We got to ban rainbows. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this kid. He's, like, I'm black. And his mom's, like, okay. Like, you're just having a wa- fun time. And I admire yeah. that. I admire that. I just... Now you guys know what it's like to have fun, dude. We it's Thank a distant you for memory. Us. It's a distant I, memory. You guys do it too, but I take advantage of my privilege. All right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You gotta do if you whatever you got. <laughs> I, 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 we can edit all of that out, right? <laughs> you said. <laughs> you said. <laughs> how long have we been here, dude? I can't be wearing this hat with the conversation we're having. You said. <laughs> you said <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Well, it's not good. I was like, I was wearing dude, this edge being you're taking for pretty, a ride. That's Joe, pretty I'm cool. pretty sure Joe. like people are chilling. Like, do you, do you don't have anything to worry about? Do you know it's somebody, a fucking comedy podcast? Who do you somebody named man? Joseph Tosolino? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Let's why? talk about this. Oh god. So you right. starred in his short for short film <laughs> Pleasure. I didn't. I didn't star in it. You I, were. I was. I was. I was not the star. I was a guy in the background. Yeah. How was that? What was that like? It, it was cool. Joey's an amazing filmmaker. He's like a, he lives in. Uh, I did that like in college. He's like a he's like a, an incredible film. What what are you, dude? <laughs> he's like a guy who makes films. Yeah, he's good. Uh, Hunter Meat Canyon. Yeah, is of Meat Canyon fame. Dude. I saw him at the bar the other day. Yeah, he told me about that. And I just what annoyed the idiot, fuck dude. out of him. I know he told me about that. Yeah, that sucked. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, it was kind of funny though. He, and then he I, called me up. He was like, "Your buddy, the skinny guy you used to live with," and I was like, yeah. and "He was like, he came up to me. He was like, I was like, I didn't yeah, know what he was talking. Can you made me like, famous on TikTok. Yeah, I was yeah, just like you, fucking with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He was like, no, he wasn't like. He just thought it was funny. He was like, he was like, I don't. He was like, I was like, how do I get? I build my YouTube. And he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a YouTube. And you were like, dude, I got ideas for sketches. He was like, all right. And then and then you were like, how I, much how much money do you make off the ads? And he was like. I'm not going to discuss my finances. <laughs> I, I was just fucking with him. And then I heard later that someone else said like that he was doing that to somebody else and they were getting annoyed with him. So it was just going around. Like, <laughs> that's pretty funny. He, he caught my annoying bug yeah, and yeah. went and annoyed somebody else. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> what is it? It's funny that you say it's that skinny guy he uh-huh. used to live with because the other guy was Jake Redpath, right? Yeah. I'm not, yeah. Mitch is the only skinny guy <laughs> yeah, I, I ever lived with up there. Cause other than and I'm not Aaron even Naylor. skinny, but just like... Yeah, but in theory, yeah. break check, break check, guys. Yeah, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, we're <laughs> fine, dude. I'm already wearing this hat. <laughs> you, you can take it off this if you want. Really I doubt hard. anything. This this is so really I don't think anything. So really, that's how bad we've been bombing. No this one said anything. Really hard. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time. I mean, it's still fun. Whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm so. I'm. I, I'm. And it's good to like do <laughs> fail. Low, yeah, lower quality <laughs> podcast now when barely anybody's gonna see it. And yeah, then maybe dude. one day we'll be good at this. I feel like we just we just you know, there's a couple good clips in there. We got the mockingbird advertisement. Mockingbird. Talking about teachers. It was almost funny. We almost got to something funny and then you started talking about what are you doing? Are you jacking off? It's your podcast, dude. <laughs> like why why are you acting like oh go go stroke yourself? This is your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right give him the hat let yeah, him get right, the hat on that one i deserved it yeah i deserved it. <laughs> let him get the hat on that one you're not doing anything dude come on hit us with something give us something to work with here um these get t- twenty thousand views <laughs> 3, <000. laughs> wow. i yeah the three thousand is still shocking to me yeah because i'm gonna blow up i'm gonna i'm gonna fuck your moms when they see my podcast Dude, that's how you do it, dude. That's my boy, right there. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, when they're talking. old and elderly, they can't. Dude, stop here's me. the difference, dude. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can't. We don't. We can't get anywhere. We're running to, nah, to dude, some go troubled for, stuff. I like. I like. I like when people go for it. <laughs> yeah, me we're too. just. You know what it's like to feel up. It's like a. It's like a wrinkly shirt. That's your mother's. These guys are fucking old. Bro, he's really letting us have it right now. <laughs> yeah, I think our moms are like the same age as yours. How old's your mom? She looks no older than 23. Yeah. She's an angel. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. Asian people are kind of like silver, built different. Silver tongue devil over here. Mm-hmm. We we reproduce like quick, you know? That's why there's mean? so many of us. Like pregnancies are like two or three months or like how long? I mean, it's just like. It's like a quick reproduction process. Asian women are children. Children are Asian women. You know what I'm saying? 
Like you're attracted to minors. What? <laughs> There's no difference between them. Look at this guy. He's like 18. <laughs> Dude, what are we supposed to do with this? Come on. Ask the next question. <laughs> <laughs> what are the pickles? In- hey, was it? Hey, you went to school for like stop motion. Oh, why did like, I tell him to go editing? back to the question? The questions are even worse. Dude, they're even worse. Let's just go back what to was the mockingbird like, lounge bit. Is was being a, the Kansas City Lego master builder really the best job ever? <laughs> was it really the the greatest job you could ever have? Test me again. Yeah, I got you. Um, yeah, I think what was great about it is. <laughs> It was fine. It was good. It was cool. Yeah, it was a cool job, dude. It was a really cool job. What do you want me to say? Fuck. Do you have any interesting stories working in? No. (laughs) Yeah, one time a kid took a dump. I don't know. No, I'll tell you this. Is this your wallet, Bill? Or is that yours? A guy, that's not mine. What? Are you just going to ruffle through his wallet? A guy got arrested when I was working at Legoland one time. What happened there? This is a wild story, actually. He had a foot fetish. Not for the children, but for for women in college. Thank there you. you. Yeah, thanks. Um, so this guy that worked at Legoland <laughs> at the cafeteria had... Hold on. Let me tell the story. He had... <laughs> <laughs> He was he was attracted to women's feet, and he went to like UMKC and shit, and he would have these girls over to like do video projects at his apartment and stuff. And he'd be like, "All right, I need you to lay down, and like I can, I'm like for this video I'm making, I'm gonna like record whatever for like a experimental art video. I need you to take off your shoes and stuff." So they would like lay down, <laughs> and then their shoes would be off, and he would fucking he would jack off onto their feet and stuff. Whoa. I swear to God, this is a real thing. It's terrible. I thought it's you terrible. were gonna say like he like Jeez. fucking took the video and then found out later that's what he was doing with it. But he would like just fucking go for it. He right was a, then. he was a, he was a, a sex offender. I mean, he was doing terrible things. Jesus he Christ! Was, yeah. But uh, so the, anyway, they came, and this is a terrible story. I don't know why. I'm sure. Yes, yeah, there are funny twists. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually so, a PR, it was a PR nightmare that I'm dragging back up from the. <laughs> <laughs> I should have should have been talking about that. So what is it? But anyway, this was when I worked at CVS Pharmacy. <laughs> can I, so I did work at CVS. Can I, yeah. can yeah. I have your perspective on this story? So I think it was yeah. Jake something or somebody said this. Yeah, it was like you and another comic, and I think Dorian was hosting. And then, like, you're like, oh, you did something to your pay. Oh, you laid away your pay? <laughs> yes, um, yeah. dude, that's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah, a good story. Yeah, we pranked it. No, it was me and Aaron Scarborough were, like, co-featuring for somebody. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and we, yeah, <laughs> we came up with, so Dorian was hosting. and It was his first weekend hosting at a club or whatever. And we came up with this th- concept, this made-up, like, industry term called featuring your pay, <laughs> which is when you just give your pay for the weekend to the features or to the feature act. Um, and so we just went up to him. At, it was like Saturday late show. We just went up to him after the show and we were like, one by one, we got a bunch of people in on it. Like the headliner, you know, Dustin, the club owner, like different people sort of around. They would like go up to him and be like, Hey man, like <clears throat> great, great work this weekend. Like great job hosting. You know, it can be nerve wracking your first weekend hosting at a club and dude, really stand up act to feature your pay like that. Like really stand up <laughs> act. Man. Great way to get more work and get ahead in this industry. I mean, when I started out, I featured my pay a lot. So that's really cool of you. And so he was just like, <laughs> what? Like kind of just like confused for like an hour and a half. And then we, he just, yeah. I mean, it was a terrible thing. That, no, it wasn't. It rocked. It was hilarious. We yeah. Just, yeah. We withheld it. It was very funny. For, and then yeah. by the end, you guys were like walking away and he still doesn't know that it's like a prank and he was about to like come fight you guys. Dude, we were getting in our cars because it was like late at night. It was like 1 a.m. and he still hadn't been paid. <laughs> and I was like, at this point, I was like, it was sort of up to the club owner to just like pay him or whatever. Cause it was, I mean, I, I was still pretending like the bit was going on. Yeah. But he was just sort of like waiting around and stuff and we were all kind of waiting around and like, uh, he was like, I don't know. <laughs> we started like walking to our cars. We're like, well, good night, you know, whatever. And then he runs up after us and he like runs up at, or no, first he talks to the club owner. He's like, what did something, am I getting paid? And the club owner's like, uh, he's like, he's like, no, they told me that, <laughs> that you told them to go ahead and feature your pay. This wasn't my decision. That's what they told me. So I, I, I gave them your pay and he ran after me in the parking lot <laughs> after me and Scarborough and just had his fist up like he was about to like punch me in the face. And I was like, Dorian, it was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a big guy. You know? I was like, oh shit. He was about, he was going to, he was going to be. Yeah. Sure, I, mean. I wasn't withholding his money. The yeah. I was. And then, yeah, didn't the owner Why came running out. Why do you ask me to tell the story and just give a big <laughs> sigh? <laughs> 
<laughs> you're I, like, I'm depressed. <sighs> <laughs> what? I, what kind of? Well, like, you're never getting the hat, that motherfucker. How about that? I, you know what? I won the hat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys want to go to the library? Um. So the, instead of like getting booked on shows and having comedians pay me, they come to my house and literally rob me. <laughs> literally take we're my just wallet, hanging out, and yeah. eat my mom. <laughs> Not like Ow. that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Fine. Dude, so... Uh, that's... Yeah. I can't believe you listened to all these other podcasts that I did and they just asked me the same questions about what we talked about. They did podcasts. not. You're, you're fucking... Those podcasts <laughs> yeah, did not all of them were questions. just things you made up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you just asked me about stuff I said on the other podcasts. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you so, did So you like Minions. Or so. uh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what he's talking about. This I want this to be to the ultimate podcast you feature on. It's like you know, you know, all all the other part pick small boys because that's the true. That's where you truly know Joe Nunnick. Yeah, I think so probably because I think any of the other podcasts I've done, maybe six listeners top, and they were mostly Kyle Hopkins and a couple of other people. Who right, support local you, podcasts. I'm, I'm sure you got sickle fans. This guy. 700,000 views on TikTok. Big shot. Big shot. Big guy. TikTok is Pretty like cool. uh, Monopoly money. Like, those views, like, don't, it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, it's not the same thing as having, like, Chinese people. YouTube I views. Know. Yeah, YouTube views feel, like, way better for some reason. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. They feel I think when you monetize more it, you real. make more money. Yeah, no. It just seems, I don't know. Shout out to my YouTube viewers. Shout out. Yeah, dude. Like, How's your YouTube? You got hot nubs? I mean, yeah, these last few ones, like, 3,000 yeah, was the last one. And then yeah. the last. Couple Follow me on YouTube. I'm trying to build my YouTube. I'm trying to build my YouTube. Yeah, the I'm trying to do stuff. shorts. I don't know how to. I, I keep up. Yeah, with I don't know right? either. Honestly, Dude, Instagram Reels is. I need I'm to hire somebody. Like you. Reels? You doing the Reels? They got forty three thousand on my thing. Ten thousand cool. on the podcast clip and another stand up clip. That's tight. That's, That's tight. fucking awesome. You guys, uh, is that why you had us on here to just tell us about your other podcast clips going viral? Yeah, I'm popping off, guys. Thank you so much for listening. You guys have anything to plug? Uh, <laughs> not really right now. No. I'm I mean, doing... I'll be at Boulevard on July 8th. I will be at the Comedy Club of Kansas City July 2nd at 9.30 p.m. That's this Saturday. What day is this coming out? Oh, I guess it's coming out today. <laughs> it's coming out today? Like tonight or something? <laughs> yeah, because uh, <laughs> fucking Dayton Visit and Aaron Nail are both like, well, I forgot we were doing this today. I'm or... glad that we could be your second choices. <laughs> what? We were going to do this. We're gonna we do were going to do this. We had planned. Thank you for having me. Yes. And thank you for feeding me. I guess yes. I should thank your mom. <laughs> which maybe i'll go do after this yeah, dude, that july 2nd great. at the comedy club of kansas city at 103rd and state line i'll be headlining it's a big show for me please come out and check it out that's all i have to say fuck yeah yeah thanks Hell for yeah thanks go for to the show. improv sometimes i never know <laughs> go to the <laughs> gonna, I, I, it's gonna promote the I, other I, club in town I, yeah sorry okay. yeah, i don't know oh, okay uh, but like I, yeah, I don't, I don't never have anything to promote because I don't find out. I have, <laughs> these, so I have these shows. Like I find out, they're like I have to be on stage in two hours. Like how am I supposed to promote this shit? Yeah, yeah, that dude. To me a lot. That's how it is in New York for me. Really, most of the places I get up that are like any good, they hit me up like three hours in advance. Yeah, which is great because like I'm getting up and stuff. Yeah, it's fucking, like, it's tight. I, like I'm not yeah, complaining, but I'm it's, doing, but I never, I, know, I can't man. plug shit. I, I got 15. Fuck you, Mitchell. I got more than 15, probably even. Okay, cool. I got, I'm doing 15 at. Empire Barn Billiards. Uh, My next boy's year. got his first fifteen. Come here. Yeah, good for you, buddy. How long have you been doing it? Um, less than a year now, almost a year. Yeah. You don't have 15, dude. <laughs> I have 15. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, I spend all my life thinking of one-liners to impress my coworkers. In a year from now, you should probably not be doing a single joke that you're doing right now. I'm gonna do That's that. Just how, oh, like, there might be a couple winners. Might be a couple. Roll yeah, because I have like a thousand one-liners. Yeah, also, all those one-liners guys—they keep the good ones. I mean, Naylor's been doing the same. True. Show. Yeah. Nah. Never mind. Jesus jokes. If you did longer bits, throw them all away. Trash. Yeah. Them. Trash. Yeah. So you can you can have some good one-liners pretty early on. Kill. Dude, you gotta try two liners, dude. They're almost as good as one liners, but it's like one. Extra I'm doing like three liners. liners. <laughs> it's a, it's like a one. Three liners. I like three liners, man. It's like a one liner, <laughs> dude. I, I have this. I have this six minute bit. It's forty seven lines, dude. There's forty seven <laughs> lines that I say back to back. Takes about six minutes. It's like a, it's like, it's, it's like a liner. It tells sort of like a story. It's crazy. It's like a one liner with an extra liner. It's crazy. Dude, yeah, yeah. Dude. I think of it as 47 separate one-liners back-to-back that sort of take time. But that is actually my That are set. all about the same thing. That are all about the same thing. Yeah, that's my that's my set. Yeah. Well, I have, I have a What's set. What's your favorite one-liner of any anything? That's, <laughs> that's a tough one. What's your favorite uh, Mitch Hedberg joke? Are you a fan of him? I, um, I guess I like... God. I like the age elevator. myself. Like I like how, the elevator nah. one. 
I like yeah. the elevator one. Elevator. How's it going? How it Escalator? Going? Escalator, yeah. <coughs> they they, <laughs> they just, don't break. They just become stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that one. Okay. Well, well, I don't know why. why yeah, I don't. He was wrapping it up. I don't know how we got. I don't know. It. Yeah. I just, okay. So we have. A I few mean, things. nobody's okay, fucking things. watching at this point. No, so dude. This is, so fucking. sign. You want to sign? Yep. Yeah. I already. Right now. It. Yeah. Yep. This is all right. The yeah, yeah. this is the post post coital cuddling. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, that's not happened yet, but it will in about 25 minutes with Mrs. Bennett. You last much shorter than that. Uh, I already signed. So I, I'm assuming... Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Also, sign your comic book, you goddamn beautiful man. Enough with my comic book. <laughs> I love the gun being here. Yeah, the gun here is great. It's nice. Think about how safe. <laughs> Before we go, I just want. That. <laughs> I just want to mention <clears throat> the Mockingbird Lounge, where place, Mitchell jerks off. Where Mitchell, have you ever wanted to go to a bar that has a 28-year-old man vigorously <laughs> masturbating directly above you? And have an ice cold Coors Light and a warm de leche de leche waffle after a long day working at the mine. The Mockingbird Lounge. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I think one of those should probably work. I want just, you don't have to post it, but I do want footage of one oh, of Oh, you're them. signing the inside? Oh, uh-huh. one of those clips? Yeah, one of the advertisements for the Mockingbird. <laughs> I think that last one was the better, best one. I like the one. I thought the last one before that one. Hmm. Pretty good, too. Anyway. Thanks, thanks, Bill. Yep, thanks for having us. <laughs> you go sign the vacuum for. I also have. Do you want to sign the cover too? I kind of like sure. that aesthetic. Yeah. You know, when I get to have famous people on here, you know, I like to take advantage. <sighs> I have Dayton's okay. book here. I have Mr. Dutch, one of the most best up and coming Kansas City rappers. Oh, Dude, this is a cool thing he does. He gives you a jizz rag. If anyone is still possibly watching, if you want a copy of this is pretty cool. If you want a copy of Super Toast Man, message follow and message me on Instagram at Nunagram N U N N I G R A M. If anyone's still here. <laughs> this is the intimate. What is this? Part. What am I doing with this? So this is that's a bandana. I think it's just a gift. It's oh, a okay, bandana. Yeah. Nice. You can also keep the Legos. That's for you. <clears throat> Where'd they go? <clears throat> well, I, I lobbed them. Across yeah, we I was, threw them when I was exhausted by your questions about Lego. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. So, yep. Yeah, so you gotta keep the Legos, the bandana. Thank I you, used to. Man, thank you. Used to wear them as like COVID face masks. Yeah, nice. But now, Are you still recording? They're just bandanas. Yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate this environment and. Thanks for having me, Bill. You know what? I think you're a good kid. I feel bad about I... surrounding comedians with my mother. Fuck. Wait, what? No, it's okay. <laughs> no, dude. I liked it. I like your mom a lot. Thanks so much for watching.